Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. This time, we're going to get started on the PX exclusive Stealth Suit Spider Man by Mezco Toys. So, let's get started. Um, gotta say, if you like already the Mezco Spider Man stuff, this is something that you're pretty much going to get the same of. I think this body stretches a little further in terms of articulation. This suit is very a generic stealth suit. Um, it's you basically getting Night Monkey. There's not much else that I can bring to you that hasn't already been shown on the figure. Ooh, excuse me. But yeah. I mean, overall, I enjoy it because I like the flexible body, but um, it's cool to see a nice cloth thing. Also, it's a really good base for customs, especially if you like making Robin customs. So uh, there's that idea. Put it out in the air. Go ahead and have fun with that. But yeah, let's jump into the review. Our main man, Night Monkey, comes with our, our basic goggles that actually can move up and down. So you actually get some eyes there. Let me see if I can. There we go. And you actually get... Some sculpted eyes under there. They actually look pretty good. They don't look cock out or anything like that. So, it's a guy under a mask. And the lens actually folds down. You gotta be careful though. Too much hitting or banging it, it can fall right out of its tabs. So I would not advise that for obvious reasons. Articulation wise, we can go up. We can go down. We can do left and right. All that good jazz. Get a little expressive by turning sideways. Hey, hey, where's my money? Night monkey. You know, all that good stuff. But... Our arm-wise and articulation, this is where it gets kind of fun because I've been noticing that they've been making a little bit more room in the suits. I think the only gripe that I'm definitely having is that the bunching of the suit is caused by some stuff here in the back. And I'll get to that in a second. Let me just fix that focus. There we go. But yeah, we have bicep swivel. We are double jointed, which is very nice. Everyone loves double joints. It's like their favorite thing ever. There's a little bit of a butterfly joint that allows you to fold forward. So keep that in mind as well, too. As you can see, they have folds forward. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, there is a butterfly joint there. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. It's pretty strong, too. So, we have our ab crunch, which, again, second people's favorite thing. <laughs> and as you can see here, you can paint him like one of your French girls if you really wanted to. You can put the legs down. You have your bicep swivel, which rotates left and right. We have our double joints, which are always fun in the legs. We don't have super generous ankle pivot, but it does tilt in very nicely. That fits pretty well for this Spider-Man, I believe. Um, Mezco strong suit is not necessarily always the ankle pivot, but I like to make it work with what I have. I'm not one of those people that's going to gripe on it. Everyone has their styles, but it does work here pretty well with Night Monkey. Maybe not completely so that it sits flush, but it works well enough. Let's see. Yeah. So you can't see it, so let me back him up a little. But you will see that that foot is not planted. In a photo, that pretty much would bother me, but posing this guy up is still pretty fun. I'm gonna like overlook that because I like my fun factor, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it does get a little annoying. So we can actually rotate left and right too. So as you can see here, we can rotate left and right for kicks. We can rotate these arms up. So that way you actually look pretty natural when doing a bunch of these moves. This is the way you would look as a guy in a stealth suit doing things. Things are going to bunch. Things are going to fold. That's the way clothing naturally looks on this stuff. But because of the way of the inner design, and I'll show you right here. If you peel this up and backwards, because this is an overlay vest, you'll notice that there is a... See, my goggles fell out. I did a little too much. There is an overlay for the stitching here. This is what's causing the bunching for that overlap. So if it looks like it's bunching, that's because that is actually folding up upon itself. So in between photos, what I'll probably do is I'll probably make sure it, by sliding it down and sliding the belt over so that it comes through to reduce as much bunching as I can and then use tweezers to pull it down. That is because in the front, the uh, the front of the suit, it's glued to the bottom of the belt. So it reacts to the belt. So as you can see here, pulled all the way down, there is a lot less bunching. It's going to do that anyway, though, because, again, those folds are right there. So. Hopefully that helps you guys. Actually, I kind of like Night Monkey without the goggles right now. So let's leave those off for a second. I really like the way this suit looks, though. It just really works well. So now we're going to jump into the accessories. So let's get to that. Whew, that was a lot. So accessory-wise, we will get our unmasked head, which is him getting beaten up. But it's actually a pretty good sculpt. I, I, I don't mind it. It definitely has a Tom Holland look to it and look feel. It's a little soft on the paint apps, and I just think that's an overall thing. But again, a good painter has shown that the detail is all there. It's really just a matter of how it's painted. 
But I actually think this works out pretty well. This one actually looks pretty solid. Nightmare gear. So, then we get our staple stuff, which is the the Spider-Man effects that we always get. But you'll have your movable web. This one actually can be oh, a knockdown Spider-Man. <laughs> so that's, this one actually moves around, as you can see here. So this will be your bendable wire one that you can actually use for tons of various effects when web swinging, web line, all that stuff. You will get a thwip face or a reaching out web. This is a soft plastic, but obviously not too crazy soft. It can still break or snap if you do a little too much. Then you have a long thwip for your web shooters. And then you will get the face mask one, which obviously you want to use for when you're hitting up bank robbers and things like that. This will be a good effect when you are doing any sort of uh, you outnumbered photos, like any type of army builder versus Spider-Man photos, which be pretty solid, especially for Night Monkey. Then hand accessories, you'll get your web swinging hands. You will get your you'll get your uh, right action hand and your left crawling hand. And then you get two twip twip hands, web shooters. And that about wraps up all he comes with, which is pretty cool because if you've gotten all the other Spider-Man, you're probably going to mix and match stuff, create your own brand of Spider-Man, or even create a symbiote Spider-Man from this. Because you never you never know. You can you can do a ton of different things with this. And this is kind of what, what certain people like I think customizers are pretty much waiting for. If, unless you're a big Spider-Man fan, then you're probably gonna get all of them. But this by far is probably the most flexible body outside of the homemade suit body, I believe. But I'll have to test that when I put them next to each other, which I'm actually about to do right now. So let's get to that. All right, all right, now it's size time. So I was debating on whether or not I do stealth suit first or with other Spider-Mans first, but I think it's only fair that I do stealth suit first. So I'm gonna compare it with the SHF stealth suit. And then we're gonna do the Marvel Legends stealth suit. And then the Moffex one is not out yet, so we can't compare that one just yet. Oop, almost dropped a bunch of toys. So, <clears throat> here we have these guys, and I think all are good in their own rights, especially for the price range and depending on your preferences. So, for instance, we have the Marvel Legends here, which actually looks good in a nice semi-gloss black. And it came out way before the other one, so that was your choice. Do you think that the head is a little too small? But overall, you actually get something pretty nice here for 20 bucks. It's very articulated. Then we have SHF in their style, but they suffered from that arm issue and everyone was scared to buy this, but this actually turned out to be a pretty good toy. And if you prefer the SHF articulation, you might be happy with that. And then now we have the Mesco one, which is soft goods, has a mix of between the aesthetic and the articulation, but not the best of both. So it's kind of one of those things where your preferences are gonna make you go, which one do I really like? So yeah, you decide for that one. Um, I think height wise, I'm definitely thinking the SHF serves the best, but if you're gonna have the Mesco to Marvel Legends mix around, those two serve your purposes as well, too. So everything gets a win-win here. I think, ah, that's just how I feel. Eh, whatever. But, yeah, let's compare it to other uh, Mezco Spider-Man. So here we have, oop, knocked my, my own thing down. Here we have the homemade suit, right? Then we have the tech suit. And I might need to lift his legs up a little to show that, uh, He's around the same size, if not a little. Oh, actually, he's a little bit smaller. He actually works out pretty much better because he's a little smaller. Here's the upgrade suit. And my upgrade suit has been sitting here and actually, it's, it was actually in a flight pose for the longest time. So his legs are pretty stiff. But as you can see here, size-wise, he's a little bit smaller, but he's a little bit better proportioned as well too. I like that I have all of them. They actually look really nice together. I didn't think about this before about just having them together. They're pretty nice. But if we look at it in terms of like stuff like articulation, I think the stealth suit and probably the upgrade suit probably hold around the best candle. So as you can see here, he folds in pretty nicely. The homemade suit actually hits hits that stride too, but just not in that waist articulation. So obviously they've gotten a little bit better since then, as you can see here. These pajamas actually because yeah, this so this one might actually, this and the upgrade suit might actually be the best articulated ones. Let's move these guys out of the way very briefly. We're gonna jump on the size comparison with other stuff. First things first, let's do 
the Marvel Legends Mysterio, the movie one, so you guys can see what they look like together. I don't think this is too bad, but Mysterio should probably be a little taller. But actually, I don't know how tall Jake Gyllenhaal is. It looks can be deceiving because he could wear platform heels like Robert Downey Jr. But I think if you're going to have them do fight scenes, this works out just fine. Bullhead is bullhead. Then we have Lightning Collection Lord Dracon. This is from the 6-inch Lightning Collection series. And Lightning Collection seems to work with this Spider-Man. Again, if you're mixing and matching for action scenes, I think you're fine. Having him stand up is where you're going to see a lot of issues. Then we have Mezco Me on a Stealth Gomez body. As you can see, the Stealth Gomez body is a little bit bigger. So you'll get your size differences out of that. We have the G.I. Joe Storm Shadow. Only slightly bigger than the that of Spider-Man. We have the Mythic Legion's Tibius, which is actually bigger than both of them. Then we have, let's do an artic Oh, sorry, I don't even have an ninja with me. Mm, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Here we are with a 1000 toy synthetic human. Next up is the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. I don't have any ninjas with me, y'all, so I'll probably do that in the picture after. And here we are with the SHF Kamen Rider Cougar. Let's sit those feet flat. So yeah, he's one of those guys that kind of sits in the middle because it's supposed to be the teen body. When you compare it to other Mezcos, he's obviously bigger than a bunch of other stuff, but it's still smaller than six inch lines like G.I. Joe Classified and Marvel Legends stuff. So it depends on how you want to go about this, guys. If you like mixing and matching, I think you'll be fine. If you're sticking to a particular brand, you may also be fine, and this may not be the choice for you. Overall, though, I do hope you found this informative. Hope you guys enjoyed the photos at the end. And as always, please, be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.